So, you know, if you learn one thing from the show today, it's eat more vegetables in the new year. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Cooking from Milk Street Kitchen's new book, Vegetables, Bianca Borges shows us how to make acorn squash the star of the show. What we're making today is an acorn squash, roasted acorn squash salad that has fresh herbs and citrus as the core ingredients. I love it. It's so, so time for me to have some citrus because I feel like I'm really lacking in vitamin C right now. Um, so how, how do we start with this dish? Well, we start with the acorn squash. We're going to roast it at extremely high heat. And I'll cut the tip of it off like this. And meanwhile, I mentioned high heat. Set your oven to 475 degrees. That's almost all the way up wow. because we want this squash to get really golden roasted on the bottom. So we'll cut this in half lengthwise, and then we'll scoop out those seeds that are in the middle. Now we're gonna cut the squash in one inch thick slices. That's very thick, but we want to give it enough time in the oven to get darkly toasted. And if you notice, we have not peeled the squash. The beautiful thing about squash such as butternut and acorn squash like this one, is that if you roast them at a high enough heat, the skin gets soft enough to actually eat. It's almost as soft as the squash meat and fork tender is fantastic. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to this. We want the squash to be completely coated with oil. And we've also uh, sprayed the sheet pan with a little okay. bit of oil as well. All right, so let's just put that on there single layer and sprinkle a little salt because anytime you roast vegetables definitely put a little bit of oil and salt on them this is my favorite way to prepare vegetables okay we'll get that going and that takes about 25 to 30 minutes so that's all okay so in this same bowl that we uh prep the squash in, we're going to make the start making the vinaigrette that will Ooh. dress the salad so we'll start with the whole orange and we'll just grate a little bit of zest right into the bowl. You only need about a teaspoon of zest, so that's about half an orange. And then we're gonna cut the segments out of the orange so that they're separated from the membrane. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you cut the ends off the orange like this. Okay. And then you put it down, move that over. And I've already started on this one just so we can go a little faster. And you're just gonna use the knife and cut the peeling away Ooh. and the white pith. Really easy. And then you end up with like a naked orange. I have never seen that done before. What a great right. tip. And then we're going to, I had a little mishap, so my thumb is <laughs> wrapped up. We're going to cut the segments out. Do you see okay. that? And I'm going to put them over here in this bowl. We're going to keep those separate for now, but we're going to let all the juices fall into this bowl. The big I'm going to not do that in my hand when I try it because I will have more than a thumb injury. Right. <laughs> well, I didn't do it. The thumb was something else completely. <laughs> if, if you're careful with the knife, just don't press too hard. It's really okay. an easy thing to do. So there's that. And then let me get that one back out there. And then with the membranes that are left here, pretend I got all the orange segments out. We're just going to squeeze and let all the juices go into the bowl. Oh, okay. Because our vinaigrette is going to be made with a, a combination of the citrus zest and with vinegar, which is nice. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's ready. So to that, we're going to add just a little bit of a white wine vinegar. We have the citrus. Um, citrus is a little acidic, so you don't need too much vinegar to go with it. And then about a third of a cup of olive oil goes into that. A little salt and pepper. You always need that in a vinaigrette because you have that strong acidic quality from the vinegar and the salt mm -hmm. just sort of helps round it off. And then we have the sweetness from the, uh, the, um, the citrus, of course. So it's gonna whisk that. Okay. That is done there. Then we're gonna add the greens to this. Our, our squash, I have a swap out of the squash. So I'm gonna get that out of the oven and let that cool down just a little bit before we add the greens to the salad. All right. So now that these are out of the oven, we're ready to assemble the whole salad. We're using herbs. This is one of my favorite ways to use herbs. We're using the whole leaves of the herbs as almost like a separate lettuce, oh. or they're an, ingre an ingredient in their own right, not just for seasoning. We have fresh parsley and mint here, but you can use any of your favorite herbs. We'll toss that in. And then we're using baby arugula or baby spinach or both, or again, whatever your favorite greens are. And we'll give that a toss. 
and so we'll you add toss all it in those... the salad as it goes. You don't put it on top. Right, right. You toss it in the salad and then you add the uh, orange segments to that. Okay, and now we're ready to plate the whole thing. So we have, we're going to save a little vinaigrette in the bowl. Then if you don't mind my fingers, I'm going to, oh heck, I'll just use this. <laughs> so but then we'll just top it with those beautiful scalloped acorn squash. And we'll drizzle the remaining dressing over the top. Just whatever's left in the bowl. That is beautiful. You know, I have to say, Bianca, like, I don't typically think of vegetables as a meal. Usually it's a side. But thank you right. for showing us how you can make that a meal and a healthy one, too. And you can do it as well. Bianca is sharing her recipe for roasted acorn squash with orange herb salad and hazelnuts. You'll find that on our website, along with more on Milk Streak's beautiful book vegetables.